I received a whole big pile of CDs in a trade at Highland Hill Farm. We grow and sell trees and shrubs, but we do do a lot of barters. Somebody brought me a bunch of CDs that they didn't want that they were willing to trade for some trees and shrubs. Although I never listened to CDs, I took the trade. Now I have to offer them up for, for barter to someone else. Maybe you need some CDs or want CDs. There's plenty of things that I will barter them for, like tools, equipment, plumbing supplies, pipe, PVC pipe. I also have weird trades that we do here at Highland Hill Farm. One of our weirdest trades is a trade for hunters. You bring us a locust, cedar, or pressure-treated fence post, and you can hunt on our nursery for the day. If you get a deer, you get three free days. And if you kill two deer in any part of the season, you get the rest of the season for free, and I pay you 25 worthless U.S. dollars. So yes, trading and bartering can be a lot of fun and you can get accomplished some things that you need to have accomplished by like getting stuff you don't want to buy for free through a trade yes if you want to trade for these cds just give me a call at 215-651-8329 at highland hill farm or if you have other things that you want to trade for trees and shrubs or if you want to go hunting or camping or things like that give us a call 215-651-8329 and have a good one. We'll see you. Thank you. This is Mike at Highland Hill Farm and today I'm going to ask him a question so he can answer it for you. What are the best weather conditions and times of day and year to transplant seedlings? Okay, well the best time is dependent on each type of seedling in itself. But general rules for any seedling would be that you don't want to transplant seedlings in the winter time. So if you're wearing heavy gloves and hats outside, you most likely should not be doing it. You should do it when it's fairly warm, uh, but not too, too hot. The hotter it is, the more stress is on the plant, especially if you're going to be disturbing the root systems. The hotter it is, the more water that the plant needs to uptake to keep itself cool. And if you disrupt the roots, then it's not going to do it. So probably like in the spring or fall would be better. Uh, the time during the day also would matter. If you do it in the morning, you can do it in the morning, but just be prepared to take care of the plant when it gets in the afternoon for the heat of the day. In the evenings should be fairly good too, if you want like to do it. So morning, evenings, like not in the middle of the day is probably the worst time of the day to do it. The actual weather on each day would, would matter. If you do it on a really hot summer day, it's probably going to be much worse than if you do it on an overcast day. Just pick, I would say, pick days that are the least stressful for a plant, for heat, for sunlight. Just make it so that <clears throat> for them it's easier for them to go through the transplant shock and not have to worry about other elements such as water or heat. That's what would be the thing okay, thank say. you. And Mike, when after we're finished transplanting, what do we usually do to uh, assure a good grow out of the the tree or seedling? Well, it depends on what kind of transplant you want to try to do. Because if you're doing from a, a seedling bed into a potted plant, you can water it down. Watering is basically the thing, but there's also, if you're in a container versus if you're putting it in the field, whether you straighten it or make sure there's water on it, water is probably the best thing to do. Okay, well thank you very much, Mike. Popular seedlings and transplants that we sell include things like viburnums, white pine, Norway spruce, burning bushes, cypresses, and a wide range of arborvitaes. We also deliver and sell larger trees and shrubs and have a display yard on Route 313 where you can come and see different trees and shrubs that we sell. We ship our trees on our trucks by UPS and by common carrier. Most of our customers are located in eastern U.S. states. However, we can ship throughout the United States, except we do not ship to California. Sign up for our newsletter on our website to keep informed as to when we're transplanting trees and shrubs, and also some of the specials that we offer from time to time during the year. Visit us at highlandhillfarm.com. We're located on Route 313 in Bucks County, PA. Thank you. 
you can call us at 215-651-8329.